What's up guys? So on my stream the other day, we had another one of our little tournaments that we run uh, with people from my Discord. And this was maybe the worst fighting game I've ever played. The game is called Blandia, which, you know, seems like a very appropriate name considering how fun the game is to play. And there, there are a lot of problems with this thing. Alright, so let, let me just enumerate a few of the things wrong with the game here. First of all, there's no mirror matches. So if you both want to pick the same character, there's no way to do it. Whoever picks the character first is locked in with that character. So we had to actually introduce a coin flip rule where if both players want to pick the same guy, we flipped a coin and the winner of the coin flip got the character. Uh, another problem with the game, you may notice the music is about a three second long loop. It's just the same two bars forever, so that's rough. Also, the life bars are at the bottom of the screen. I don't know what that's about. The timer as well. Very bizarre. Speaking of life bars, nothing does any damage in this game. Like, look! look that does zero, zero damage? Okay, but we broke the armor, so surely we're gonna do damage now, right? <laughs> No, for some reason we're still doing like no damage. So there's this bizarre armor system where you take no damage from some attacks when you have armor and then your armor slowly breaks. Jump-ins are really really broken because for some reason they just take no damage while they're jumping. So a lot of rounds go to timeout. Also the input reading in this game is really whack. Like, fireballs are just really hard to do. If you accidentally do a half circle forward instead of just a quarter circle forward, nothing comes out. I'm doing half circle forward plus heavy, and not even a heavy comes out. How does that make sense? No attack comes out, even though I'm pressing the button. Explain! Also, there's charge moves, but if you charge for too long, your move doesn't come out. So you have to charge for a specific amount of time, not too short, and not too long. I, I don't think I've ever played a game worse than this, so I don't recommend going back to 1992 and trying to play Blandia. Instead, get your enjoyment out of watching us suffer playing this garbage game. Look at how little damage the fireball does! I have to hit her with like a hundred fireballs to kill her. Oh, it's trash, guys. It's trash. But regardless of that, we had a lot of fun. There were actually some legit hype moments from this tournament. So I very much hope that you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, I would really appreciate it. If you could hit the like button, that would be sick. Help me out, guys. And uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Here we go. <laughs> Round one. Wait, what's... Okay, we're, we're off to a good start here. Iriana versus Jerain. So Iriana's got that sweep. She's got that long range sliding sweep, which uh, I think is probably her best move. Uh, Jerain is uh, pretty hard to play. She's got these projectiles where you have to hold down buttons and then release them at a very exact time. She also has a fireball that messes up your inputs, like Modok Jamming Bomb. Okay, we got a throw coming in. It's so hard to tell who's winning with the health bars at the bottom. It, it just feels wrong. I can, I can kind of understand why maybe the developers thought it was a good idea, because your eyes are looking lower on the screen to look at the characters, but it just doesn't work at all. Our eyes are not trained to look at the bottom. Oh, okay, punishes the sweep of the throw. Jumping in all over the place, not seeing a lot of anti-airs. It is pretty hard to anti-air in this game, I would say. We are seeing a lame out here for Maliop's Jerain time over in the first round. Not, not a good sign of things to come. The first round time over. Guys, did I mention this game is bad? But the players have only known that this is the game that we would be playing for about two hours So there has been very little grinding very little information about the game is going to be known So the secret to winning this tournament, it's going to be all about who can figure out the broken stuff fastest Reversal throw seeming pretty strong the projectile keep away Looking tough for Teresa to deal with with Iriana here. How does the sweep Clash with the fire pillar. Now that I don't understand. <laughs> How did that attack 
miss! The hitboxes are so whack in this. Okay, big fireball. Okay, the sweep. The sweep coming through. The oh, we're teabagging! <laughs> wow! What's going on? <laughs> I can't tell if we're having rollbacks. <laughs> I didn't even mention the game's excellent soundtrack too. Let me true, let me let me crank it up a little bit. Guys. <laughs> okay, Teresa might be bringing it back. The fire pillar can cause rollback. Okay, cool. Cool. We've got a reversal throw. Yep, fire pillar causing rollbacks here. I'm guessing because it's a release, a button release attack. Oh no, it's hitting too meaty. Is she dizzy? That, this is cursed. Get this cursed nonsense out of here. Looks like Molly-Op's gonna take game one. <laughs> can we not do first to three? I'm sorry for making a last minute thing here, but I don't know how much of this we can watch, guys. Okay, first to three. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe we could do first to three. It's just that, like, how much of this do we really want to watch? This, this game is hard to watch, and the rounds take a really long time because there's no damage. <laughs> I know, are we going to rock this one song for three hours straight? I don't know about- Wah! <laughs> What just happened? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now Molly Ops on match point. This is why I'm kind of thinking we should do two out of three because <laughs> this is gonna be hard to sit through for three hours. I gotta be honest. All right, reversal throw. Reversal throw again. Whoa, it happened! <laughs> this is so cursed. I can't handle it, guys. Both players jumping around. I know the life bars at the bottom is really strange. Uh-oh, the cursed inputs. The fairy confuses you. T and a throw. It's gonna close it out. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. That's game. Okay, emer emergency update for the tournament. It's gonna be two out of three for the rest of the tournament. I can't handle first to threes of this, guys. <laughs> Mayo says flip the coin. Let's go. We're flipping it. Heads. Molly Op gets it. Tails. Mayo gets it. Tails again! We're two for two! We're two for two! Mayo get Mayo gets the character, let's go! Mayo's taking Jerain. Molly up with the backup, going to McGill. I swear if we go to the blue stage again, I'm I'm banning you guys. Okay. Well, not this blue stage, the one where the screen is cut off. Right, it's for the lore! Yeah, there wouldn't be a rematch in real life. It doesn't make sense. It's the lore. It's like how in Magic you can't have uh, more than one copy of a legendary creature for the lore. Alright. Molly, I'm getting zoned out. For once, it seems like the coin flip strap might be paying off. The only thing is you gotta not get thrown by McGill. We've seen those throws. They could do a ton of damage. Oh, the damage, though. McGill, low-key, the only character that does damage? Other than Jerain? <gasps> the poke. No! Why are you jumping, Mayo? There we go! <laughs> Mayo takes round one. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, we've had a few... We've had, we've had a few Diocles, a.k.a. Dickles, so far. But, uh, McGill... McGill and Jerain, I think, have been the two most popular. Yeah, the footsies. Th this is this is the the classic ground-based footsies gameplay we've come to expect from the Guilty Gear. I mean the 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 Blandia franchise. But there's the big throws from McGill doing tons of damage, and there's a charge move, very hard to do, and another throw does huge damage. Molly Ops going ham right now. Conan the Barbarian. 
Oh my god, McGill! Somebody stop this man! Mayo Mayo is gonna have to figure out these unblockables. I think that's gonna be the big strat. Ooh. Even though Jerain is obviously overpowered, we're still seeing so much of the weird hitbox problems this game has. Moves just phase through each other. Nothing really makes sense. All right, the patient lame out gameplay, but don't let don't let McGill in. Don't let him. Okay, there's the pillar. There's another pillar. Let's go. Let's go. Oh man, I never thought I would be getting hyped for the pillar, but here we are. <laughs> Michael and Mayo makes it 1-0. Let's check in with the betting markets. This is a close one. 46% bet on Mayo. All right, we're seeing a switch. Mollyop is going to Retsu. Uh-oh, Retsu with the big cross-up. Oh, nice throw. Nice air-to-air -air clashes. Another clash. Okay, gets the throw. Looks like he was setting up the unblockable there. Doesn't quite get the execution. Wow. <laughs> He's starting to believe. <laughs> Going for an infinite there. I think that move can be an infinite. Jumps over, gets out of the corner. But you're going to have to figure out some way to do damage. Okay, throw is a good way. Throw oh, throw loops. Throw loops. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Did they see it was unlike Street Fighter? It seems like they didn't figure out that you should be unthrowable on Wake Up. Oh, another throw. Five seconds left. I don't know. I don't know if it's actually possible for Retsu to deal enough damage here. Okay, Microwave Mail's on match point, folks. <laughs> microwave Mail on match point. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, the hitbox is just phasing through each other. Okay, Retsu landing a throw this time. Oh, another one! Okay, Maliop could be figuring things out with the ninja. Or is he a samurai? Whatever he is. Jeez, dude. Okay. Jump in. Long range on those pokes. Oh, don't even bother trying to anti-air. It's not worth it. It doesn't work in this game. Just wait for them to land and then throw them. <laughs> That's the strat. <laughs> Hitting them out of the air is not bright. Oh, the unblockable. Did no damage for some reason. Oh, there. see, there's the throw. Just wait for them to land and then throw them. What else do you need? Nice! Air to air! Not much time left either. It's gonna be hard for Retsu to deal enough damage with four seconds left because nothing does any damage in this game. And Mayo lames it out! The ding dong! <laughs> the witch is dead, folks. Mollyop is eliminated. Alright, this is the last one of the day, if my calculations are correct. So this is... Leaster... I'm, listen. Even though this tournament has been bad because <laughs> this game is bad i am happy that we're getting some shakeups at the end when when the same person won seven in a row i started to doubt you know waking up this morning and, and deciding to stream so at least we're getting some shakeups um oh yeah strive it has like hearts that you lose that's true i don't mind that i think that's fine all right, so McGill getting zoned out. It looks like, uh... Whoa! The Chad McGill went right through the pillar. He didn't even care. Yo, did she just pull out a knife? McGill, I got bad news for you, bro. <laughs> this is not looking so good. You have to fight Jerain, the most broken character in the game. I don't know if you have a shot, Chad McGill, but I believe... I believe. Show him the muscles. There we go, jumping. Yo, you're looking the wrong way, McGill, but I'll allow it. It doesn't even matter. Let's go. This is grand finals right here. Ooh, stabbing him. Ooh, stabbing him. The range! 
How does McGill with with a sword have more range than Jerain with the pole arm? Let's go. <laughs> oh, the throw! <laughs> there we go. Yo, Chad McGill, let's go. I get hype watching this character. This man's a beast. Okay, we're seeing the unblockable pillar. The OP strats. Don't corner yourself. Don't corner yourself, Audios. I guess he doesn't really have a choice, but yeah, if you get stuck in the corner, you can just get... There's no way out. It's an infinite. But a missed input from Audios is going to give Leaster a second chance at life here. Yeah, you can see the accidental jump inputs are attempts at doing the pillar. Uh, the pillar requires an up input at the end. So if you mess it up, you just jump. All right, McGill's got a major life disadvantage here, but one or two throws will completely make that up. Go, oh, what? How did... How did McGill get thrown there? Okay, okay, gets thrown. This is not looking good. Audio's working on a perfect. Oh no, Jerain throw is so broken. Whoa, another one. Uh oh, it's looking like first game is gonna go to Audios. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Let's go, Leaster. Show him the power of McGill. Let's check in on the in the betting markets here. 87% bet on Audios? Is it because they saw Audios pick Jerain? <laughs> if someone picks Jerain, you just gotta go all in on him, huh? Yeah, Jerain has no armor mechanic. I don't think McGill does either, actually. Ooh, jumping. But you're gonna, ooh. Oh, look at that. The footsies. The fairy. Okay, the fairy messes up your inputs. Watch out. Yo, walking him into the corner like a Chad. Let's go, McGill. Yo. Yo, let's go, McGill. I've never been so hyped before. Let's go. You guys thought Daigo versus Justin was hype? McGill versus Jerain. This is the true, the true hype match of fighting games. We're going to need to see some of those throws, though, from McGill. Making good use of the huge range, though. Look at that jump in range. Utterly ridiculous. Ooh, swanging. He's just swanging. This is distressingly close, though. Uh, and there's the throw. Jerain throw so broken. It's like Chun-Li throw in SF2. Ooh, clashing in the air. Out the er. <gasps> Jerain on a pixel. The problem is it doesn't matter how low Jerain's HP gets. If she ever lands the pillar, you just die from full HP. But Leaster. McGill jumps in from full screen. Yo, last game, last game, let's go! It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1, one, one. let's go, Chad, who's hype? All right, McGill. Once again, there's no ready fight, you just go. You just go, catch the opponent off guard. Okay, the long range throw, uh-oh. The unblockable, uh-oh, the unblockable pillar messes up the input though. Leaster's got another chance. Oh, getting thrown by that broken Jerain throw. McGill just swanging. Oh, yeah, throw the sword around. Okay, gets knocked down in the corner, though. Ooh, that was a huge hit, and now this round is so close. Oh, the footsies, guys. This is top-level fighting game gameplay right now. Oof, you got thrown, but you're not dead yet. <gasps> Clash. No! Oh! <laughs> Match point for Audios. <laughs> oh, this is way too close, dude. This is too close. Oof, hits him with the with the hilt, the hilt of the sword. I think that sword is actually taller than Jerain. <gasps> the anti-air? Yo, she's cornered. No escape. Yo, McGill has activated alpha mode. He's going in. Just, I lied. He's activated sigma mode. Sigma male McGill. 
Oh my god, Pringles! Pringles! Uh-oh, the unblockable though. Misses the input. This is your chance, Leaster. Go in! By the way, don't question why that pillar did zero damage. I don't know why. <gasps> the throw! McGill throw doing so much damage, getting hit in the corner. Meets a merit. The throw! Yo! <laughs> that throw did so much! Let's go! <laughs> Boys, the good guys win this one. The good guys win. Listen, no bias. No bias on commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no bias, but we couldn't let Jurain win the tournament. She's too broken. She's got an unblockable that you can loop. She's too broken. The Chad McGill came in and served some cold justice. Thank you to the fighting game gods. <laughs>